Sometimes a girl's gotta eat shit colorful. <laughs> that, that's, that's okay. <laughs> so do you want ice cream or do you not want ice cream? No, it's probably for the best. Do you not want to stay awake due to pain? I don't want to stay awake because I gotta edit. Hey. Alright, I'll get Necrodes some ice cream. I'll get you some right now, bro! You realize she's just now gonna eat ice cream in front of the camera. I will not do such a thing. She's a liar. I am not a liar. She's a liar. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like Denali! Extreme moose tracks. Here you go. Here. 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 I can't get it through the screen. <laughs> I can't ship this to you. It won't fit in email. You dick. <laughs> we can't 3D print ice cream yet. 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 Maybe for the astronauts. You're an astronaut. I am an astronaut. Ass. Tro. Not. Okay. Celestial being. What am I editing? <laughs> Vlog stuff. Same thing I always do, Pinky. Alright. Last time we were with April Ryan. What time is it? 8.23. Okay. So we're going to 9.23. Ready, set, go! Ah, I need to start on time for once. Last time we were with April Ryan, she saved the lovely Bandas, otherwise known as the Mole People, on her way to get the wind back from the sorcerer Roper Clax. And we spent the night in this cool little hovel thing called the Spirit Dig, I think. And I had a talk with a really more douchey version of myself, apparently. Oh, she's, she's awake. awake. April. April. Sweetheart, if you want to do the daily vlog thing, sure. Morning, I Amanda. honestly... Greetings of the it new takes day me so you, long April. to edit, I would Did not re well re recommend it unless you got a lot of time on your hands. Well, but I am just operations. finishing up a 50-hour week contract, so, so moss mattress? maybe I'm not no, the best judge. Not really. So you were visited by the spirits? Yes. When you told me last night that I would be, I didn't believe you. I thought it was just a manner of speaking, like saying, don't let the bed bugs bite. Our ancestors are close to us at all times. Once in a while, they speak to those who have been chosen to spend a night in the spirit dig. That they spoke to you is a great honor. I go to April. 40... Uh, actually, I finished. I have, I have holiday pay right now, till the end of... I'd be happy to exchange... All the honor in the world. November, for and one then I start up on nice 40, sleep. on a normal 40 <laughs> hours starting oh, December 1st. You are well, very technically funny, December 2nd, April. but you get the idea. If all if humans all are as funny as you, your cities must be filled with laughter. Ha ha! Ha ha! Laughter! wishes to speak with you again. And I must sing you. Down in the tunnels. Ha 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 I'm Thank just you. fucking character tablet. May the balance provide <laughs> you on your journey. It was pretty really resilient, funny. not gonna you lie. Will be in my like, always. And you will be in mine, Ben Bundu. Always. You will Aww. come back when your journey is over. To be mine, Ben Bundu. I'll try. Always. Bye. <laughs> oh my. I cannot stand farewells. But. Farewell. Fucking with you. you. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Ass! But I do appreciate you asking. I realize that just could have hurt if you didn't. He's sleeping. I'll wake oh him up God. when I'm ready to leave. Are we not ready to leave? <laughs> Bitch, let's go! We got some things to save! Like the world? Yeah, like the world. It's minorly important. I kind of live there. I don't live there. You can't blow up the world, that's where all my stuff is. <laughs> that's where I keep my stuff. 
are you doing? Well, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to see that. There we go. <laughs> so, you are awake? Did you sleep well? No. As well as can be expected, I guess. Does the word buck bar mean anything to you? <gasps> buck bar? Where did you hear this word? Ikea. Ikea! It's like the fajosta. No, it sounds like a bad word. And it's just like picture frame or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> the, spirits the spirits told me that I'd had a buck bar. So the spirit spoke to you openly? You are lucky, human. Some who enter the spirit dig never come out again. And some spend the night then why did near you... nothing. But to you, let me go the in there if I was never gonna come out again. Yeah, you'll Papa be fine. You've got is a vision you of yourself that know. speaks the truth in two ways. One oh, yeah, is the I'm dark really truth. It. It this is how you see yourself when you are not sure of yourself or angry with I watched yourself. It. <laughs> <laughs> is the very I'm not saying that's a bad thing. The there might have been some dark This is how you must see yourself to be happy. But the spirits remind us that both are important. That you cannot love yourself without first seeing your flaws. The people I saw, were they really there? No, sweetheart. The spirits to use masks to convey their messages. And they speak in voices from the past or the present that carry great weight with you. The messengers are never the same, nor the message. But you must take care to hear and heed their words. I was told that my name among the Banda would be April Bandu Mbata. She among the little ones who seeks and finds. That's a first. So, you are the one we sing of. Uh, the human who would come to aid us and to save our world, and who will then tear it apart. You bring tidings both happy and sad to the Banda, April Bandu and Bata. Both hope and despair. This world will never be the same again once you have passed through it. But we are grateful. And I'm proud to have met you, and to give you what you came for. And they had a party! It was just luck that brought me here. I didn't come for anything in specific. Yes, you did. This is what you came for. What'd you give me? Things in your treasure chest. What is Which Sounds it? like a euphemism. This is the stone so given to us by the oh! fathers. To keep safe until this day. They gave me one of the stones it has I been with us for so long. Oh. oh, it's a piece of the disc. Boom! Then you know it. You came for the stone, even though you didn't know it until now. I guess I did. Thanks. Now you must continue your hey journey. Guys, no talking about Day of the Doctor. I know it's awesome Remember, and fantastic, it but I missed it on Saturday now. because I had to and work. So you are and my at mom fires, is and saving it for me, so I'm watching it when I go back on Wednesday. So I'm please, no honor. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. May there always be soil between your toes, April Bandu and Bata. And between yours, Elder. Goodbye. Oh. This is the first of many, many titles I believe she gets. Mouth, wake, wake up! up. Be huh? nice. Wake up! Well, she wanted to sound like a crow. Turn, Turn off, off the big light, light mommy. mommy. It's called, it's the, called sun, the sun, crow. crow. Welcome, Welcome to the world of the living. living. No, I don't like oh. it. Turn the <laughs> sun. I was having this weird dream about a big ass turkey wearing a pair of red shoes, and you were there, and and he was there, and 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 maybe it wasn't a dream after all. I think it's safe to say that you need therapy. We need to leave right now. Red shoes, and you were there, and he was there, and maybe it wasn't a dream at all. I'm Judy Garland. Who are we getting again? Alchemist out to rule the world with his powerful and destructive magic. Um, we're looking for things. Hey, yes, exactly. I did with my uh, sweatshirt because it's 
I'm sure. I'll keep an eye out for other potential threats then, shall I? Like, uh, marauding mice? You used to make me feel like shit. You do that, Crow. Thank you. I don't know what I did with it, to be honest. I'm gonna find it. Haha, <laughs> found it. Oh, yay! Oh, ah! Oh, God! <laughs> ah, grassy. Prego. Oh, oh, this spot is really cool. You won't know why it's cool until the second game, but... This will look familiar later. <sighs> hey, Alan's here. Alan Kissler. Yeah. Whom I love. Am I close to the end of this game? Eh, no. It's the longest ordeal. I if I hear one more again. joke about that, I'm gonna punch somebody I in the vagina. Something. Something. And if like you don't have something. a vagina, I'm gonna give you one, and then I'm gonna punch it. Things. Here, hold this. What's this? Ow! <laughs> yeah, hold it. That's exactly what I meant by that. <laughs> I just got shot. The the most immense, intense bitch beams ever from her eyes. <laughs> You don't even know. Child, you don't even know. Hey, I know. No. Look at my face. It knows. I don't think it does. Have you asked it? Yeah. You said it didn't know. No. You didn't ask it. You I did. assumed. No, well, I asked it. You know it. it assumed us. I asked. Hey, face. Did you get asked? Yeah. <laughs> I did. You asked me just now. No, I asked myself. No, I talked to my face. No, my face you, and I were having a you, private conversation. You call me face all the time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Purple flowers, pick them. You can't put your mouth on them. They're probably poisonous. They feel very <laughs> soft to the touch. Soothing like skin moisturizer. I'll bring a few in case my hands get dry. Never what? has to be prepared for a dry skin emergency. That is a true fact. That is that is true, fact of trueness. Yep, and that must be Roper Clax's castle. The whole gravity defying bit kind of gives it away. I'm flying high, defying gravity. Those berries look ripe and juicy, but my mom taught me never to judge a book by its cover. They're probably poisonous and almost certainly fat. Oh, come on, really? Also, why is the music so loud? Pretty sure we turned that down, so why? Oh, we, you turned it back up last time we played. Did I? Yeah. It's in the stream. Why did I do that? Why would you do that? It's like trying to make oatmeal cry. Why would you do that? Push statue. <laughs> Strange texture. My fingers feel tingly. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> What are you? Petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Can you try <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I wait, man. Oh, 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 oh. Go good one. Both of those. Okay, there's gotta be some way to help you talk. By the way, can you help me get up there? Into the castle? I don't remember the only had a heart, but... It's okay, I don't need any magic. I don't you know any magic, magic, sorry. But I'll try to find a way to soften you up. LOL! Thank you. Thank you. Ha! Ah. Dear Cloud Strife, take a note. Use a fucking soft. 
That doesn't work. The stone surface is too coarse and the petals aren't moist enough by themselves. I think I need to mix them with something to make it easier to apply. Berries? No. Um... And a stone... Oh. Flowers with candy. No. Juice berries. Oh, well now I can look at the... What? Why wouldn't you let me grab them before? Helen says the ring. So he can tell. Call Crow. <laughs> to poop on him. Ew. Hey, it's a statue. Uh, that marshy ground between me and the berries looks treacherous. I'll probably get stuck and drown. Really? Drown? I think you just get stuck. Didn't I just say that these could be poisonous? Ha! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's crow! It's chilly out here. You should really be wearing a sweater, doll. You don't want to catch a cold, not with the- What do you call me, doll? No! You've been infected by Zack. I'm fine, thanks, Crow. What's going on with you? Caring. Keeping my eyes open, you know? Floating on the warm winds, doing that whole Hawkeye shtick. I'm getting pretty good at it, too. I spoke you from at least 100 Oh, but. Yep. They don't call me. The Lord of the Winds for nothing. Do they really call you that? No, but soon by the balance they will. Now, what can I do for you, sweetheart? It's from Jay-Z. Oh, thank you, Alan. Wait, do you okay? Yes, but can he fly over and grab berries for you? Yes! Oh, I need you to fly over there and get some of those berries for me. And crow? Yes, ma'am. Don't eat the berries. No, ma'am. Fly! Fly, you fools! You come back! Here you go. Thanks, Crow. You got it. I'm gonna go back up there and work on my eyesight. I ain't, I ain't stopping, stopping until I can until spot I can those cute chicks, chicks from miles and miles, miles away. away. And there he goes. Put your wings up. Don't eat berries. Oh, look at that moisturizing cream. Well, pay attention, beauty guru gurus. I have a severe case of uh, of dry skin. The most severe. Yeah. You've been petrified. It's petrifying. There. there. You feel better? better? Uh, 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 softer. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think the salve will be effective for very long. I may be, by the way. Lorhan, I'm a sailor. And you've got to help me get out of here. I don't think I can stand it much longer. What happened to you? <sighs> blasted, blasted. Alchemist cast a spell on me. Turned me to solid rock. Then he put me here. Of course he it's cold. It's November. Blasted castle. It was near six full moons past now. You've been here for half a year? Curse the balance. You say it like that. It is an age. My wife was sure to have taken someone else's bed by now. Blasted magic. Vanguard were right. I would just wonder if she was okay. If she took someone's bed, okay. But is she okay? I think that matters more. What do you mean the Vanguard were right? That we've been at the mercy of the balance for too long. It's time to make some changes. Put the control back into the hands of the people. How would that have helped you? Well, for you one, live in there Canada, be any rogue of course magicians it's like this I expect it to snow in June. running about causing trouble. Do you not agree? I'm not about to argue politics with you right now, Lorhan. I'm in a hurry. Who's arguing? And blast it's it's be my rocky hide. Get me out of here. How can I help you? 
It ain't just me, April. There are dozens of men up there. Servants, and sailors, and merchants, and soldiers. All sent here by their masters to deal with Roper Clax. <laughs> Curse it be the balance. We've all been turned to stone. This guy is Our a souls trapped in a crystal that the madman keeps in his tower. But you know what? Power, I bet it's Burns Flipper trying not to sound right. like Burns Flipper. But this blasted problem of mm. the balance has upset the natural order of things. If the Vanguard were in control, this would never have happened. Things would be like they used to be a long time ago. Hmm. Everything was good then? Oh, sure, there were problems, but this rift, it ain't natural. Science and magic belong together in the hands of the people. Not to some naked guardian fellow on a tower somewhere far away. Listen, we've got more important things to think about, like how I'm going to get inside the mountain, beat this clock sky, and free your soul. Yeah, 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 you're right. And I can feel my muscles turning to stone again. We must hurry. How do I get inside the mountain? I'll pull the stairs down for you. Usually when Clax comes and goes, he softens me up for a bit, just so I can raise and lower the stairs for him, and then he changes me back to solid rock again. Once you're inside, and if you manage to defeat the madman, and I don't see how you're gonna do that, a young woman like yourself. Shut up, Sailor Roy. I'm pretty resourceful, and I'm not your run-of-the-mill teeny bopper either. Your what? Anyways, if you defeat Clax, you must find his study and break the crystal, the soul stone. That should break the spell and give us back our flesh and bone bodies. Sounds like a plan. All right, here goes. Watch your head, April. Here we go. Cool. <laughs> a labyrinth. Alan, what the I hell? I love these things. Jump! Jump into the abyss! Who is that? Wait, don't tell me, evil wizard. They all sound like Richard III on crack. <laughs> A place I know. It it kind of reminds me of the babe. What babe? The babe of the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. You remind me of the babe. No, oh, you say do what? Do what? <laughs> <laughs> I always screw that one up. Damn it. You fail at this. I fail at life. <laughs> do what? <laughs> Boom! Run, you toasty bitch! No! <laughs> She's toasty. I don't even know, man. Toasty. And who the hell is laughing? I'm assuming the wizard. <laughs> I hate you so much. How much? It's a mirror door. I look different in that mirror. Darker, scowling, scarred. Must be the light. Yeah. Must be the light. And. Dance, magic, dance! Who's knocking? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Boo. <laughs> Ouch! God, this is just a painting of a staircase. Not fair. Now I understand how Wily e. Coyote felt. That damn bird.
Hmm. Meep, meep. Succumb to the power of math magic. It's mathematical. This is just a painting of a staircase. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. There's nothing like... That crap. I know if I go back in there, it's gonna reset everything. What the hell? gotta be a thing for later. Like I've gotta replace that thing or something. I have seen the bat dad vines. This is confusing. <gasps> he's got his hand out like he's begging. Oh! Wait, hang on. down there. What? When you... Oh! When you go in here, you come down here. 
It loads the other screen. Oh, weird. There we go. Now I can do this. Yay! For now. Run, April. What? Why did you stop? What? <laughs> Shut up, Rover Clax. No one loves you, and you're going to die alone. <laughs> Different in that mirror. <laughs> oh, oops, my auto tweet was wrong. Fix something really quick. Edit. Lol. Update. that it's been a morning of bad bad thingies what's he doing right go through there balance being cast Stony face. Does Stony face want candy? Apparently not. Um, play Stony face a song? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Hmm. Banda stone? No. Do you want money too? Yes! Wait. Hmm. He just lets me look at him. That's one stony face. You need to rub things on his face? I don't have this stuff anymore. Okay. Huh. Wait, don't do it yet, April. Anything else? I know there's something to be done with that mirror, but I don't know what. Place is confused. Why wouldn't let me talk to the He's got his hand out like he's Yeah, I already gave you money. It's the same face.
God, April. <laughs> Run, whore. God. Up the stairs. Up them. Up up. What? <laughs> You're so. Salt and pepper. No. Inner labyrinth. Go to the gargoyle on the right. Put a coin in his hand. A new gargoyle appears with burning torches. Click on both and use mouth to blow them out. The first gar gargoyle comes back. Give him a coin to make the second gargoyle appear. This time with salt and pepper in its hands. Take both. Oh. Give him another coin? Yeah. Can you go back? I think you can. Eh. Yeah, you're gonna have to get back. Damn it! That's dumb. Because this April doesn't need turtles to save her. <laughs> Your pensive face. You're like... Do I wake him up with salt and pepper? Oh, it says take both. Go to the gargoyle on the left, turn the hourglass, quickly run up the stairs out of here. There's a mirror door, something lies in front of that door. Look at it, it's a parchment roll. Try to take it. You can't. Oh. You're better or worse. You're better. Okay, shh, stop. I think that's enough. I just needed to figure out what I was missing. I didn't realize I had to give him money twice. Okay. No, Alan, I'm not gonna start singing Salt and Pepper. No one wants to hear that. Damn it! <laughs> Shut up, Roper like Clax. I'm look. going to hit you so hard on the face. Your grandkids are gonna feel it. Oh. Um, no, I'm gonna hit you so hard in the face, you never have grandkids. Don't ask me how that works on your face, but it does. <laughs> Oh, shit! Whoa. Talk about a hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe April sure got some anger stored up. I guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. Parchment! Proceed to there? Is that what it was? Do you want to read? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have salt and pepper now. I don't feel like I should throw it at that one dude's face. Mm. Maybe I'll give her candy! Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I don't I trust my trust mirror my image. image. Knock on the door next door. I already did. I got this hourglass. In the new room, there's a gargoyle face. Alright. Okay, cool. Run! <laughs> Bitch, shut up. Balance be cut! Wakey, wakey, exit baby. I thought they said exit baby. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Say whatever you want about Roper Clax, he certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait, are those human bones down there? Big 
Certainly. But I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Finally! <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Oh, but I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Ropa Clax. And you would be? Bard bones, they're not cheap. Bard bones are awesome. April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. But the kitten has manners. Not anymore, How bitch. You called me a kitten. Precious. How very precious. I am <gasps> tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my demonic children. But no. It will be more fun to destroy you. Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? To survive, motherfucker. I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl. Because I can. That's not why wolves eat sheep, and because dumbass. Of who I Shut am. up! It's the actual because, because I am hungry. And because the time <laughs> is right. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut your pretty little mouth! I will devour you! I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control, must we? No, we must not. Why not? Why did you turn those people into stone? Questions, questions, questions! I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child! Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. Too stupid! What? You, you what? Answer, what do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I don't think you know what that means. Suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty. Their tears so... Salty. You're a real shit, Clax. <laughs> You're a real shit, Clax. That is officially my favorite. Um, I'm gonna attack you with math. Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Ha! Cliches. Is that the best you can do? Watch me. Ooh. Yes. Hide and watch. you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. Yes, but I have science. I even own their souls now. And they will feed me and keep me yep, strong people. for as long as I need them. But I have science. How original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, how precious. <laughs> Can you stop monologuing? Oh, God. See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now, do you think you could defeat me? Yeah, I got science. How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> What, what do you mean by a proper challenge? I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? 
frauds, the lot of them. The only real magic is the magic of alchemy. But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge, that's a walkover. If we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me, I know that. But you're gonna but agree to it anyway. intrigue me, little girl. Go on then, issue a challenge worthy of my powers. Math. <laughs> I challenge you to a contest of simple arithmetic using only this petty little device against your supreme intellectual powers. Give me your best shot, but after this, I will take your soul and trap you in stone for all eternity. Sounds good to me. Okay. Here's one. 49 times 11. 49 times 11 what? Numbers. Okay. Think of apples and oranges. 49 apples times 11 oranges. 49 times 11. Let's see. Carry on one over. Three. <clears throat> no, forget that one. So that leaves us with... Nine! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. It's 539. That was an easy one, Clax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. I'll give you an even easier one this time. 603 divided by three. Ooh. You underestimate my powers, little girl. 5,867.2.3! Aha! Way off, buddy. It's 201. Sorry, you lose. Give me that thing! This is intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Who else is that? Coach <laughs> King. Yeah. He's way too amused by me. He probably found out he could spill boobs. Or boobies on the calculator. What the? Oh, science is going to absorb him! Uh, you still have to He divided by zero! Oh shit! Oh no! Doesn't he know better? This is why you never divide by zero, kids. Never divide by zero, kids. And I always, I always thought, thought math, math was such a waste, waste of time. I love how she's not disturbed at all that he's just somehow magically... <laughs> whatever. Grab it. Means I don't have to change batteries. It's filled with dumbass. Runs on stupid. It's a crystal ball with tiny specks of light flitting back and forth inside. This must be where Clax has trapped the souls of all those unfortunate people. It's a crystal ball with souls trapped inside it. Should I throw a skull at it? What true? Or pick the vial. Empty vials. I have a vague feeling I'm gonna have to do some maths. I mean, some sciencing. Chemistry? <clears throat> I feel like I'm probably missing a vial, though. 
This page has been torn out, leaving only part of it readable. If you bother to tear it out, it must be important. It's a spell. Clouds and spiders' webs, plus, um, magic finger? If alchemy is anything like chemistry, that last one is probably some kind of catalyst or something. Clouds and spider web plus catalyst makes invisible? There's something behind the curtain. Clever fellow, that roper clacks. Who'd think to look there? Don't look behind the curtain. The man behind the curtain. I don't know how high up we are, but there are clouds below us and I can't see the ground. What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I'd cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. When you put it like that... No. Yes! Huh. Hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? What's going on out there? What's going on is that we're currently cruising at an altitude of, uh, oh, very high. And where are we heading? We're very slowly going nowhere except up. There's no wind, remember? It'll start getting chilly and hard to breathe in a few hours, however. That won't be very pleasant. I could use some help. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. Um... Till 10.30, I believe. So another hour and 15 minutes? Roughly. Think you can no, get that red flask for me, Crow? Unless you want me to knock it down for you? No way. It's too large and unhandy for my claws. Torn out page is the parchment by the mirror. Possibly. If that's an invisibility spell, then maybe. I can hear the rustling of tiny legs. Spiders? Spider web. <laughs> it smells like pearls of morning dew. Yep. It has the texture of thin strands of hair. Okay. Spider web. So green is spider web. I can hear a distant tingling sound. Crystal bells. Hmm. Maybe ice. It smells hard to define. Sharp, decisive. Earthy. It feels cool to the touch, like ice. Probably is ice. It sounds like distant thunder. Oh, here's the clouds. It smells like ozone. It feels moist and light. Fluffy almost. <laughs> it sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. It feels soft like satin and very fragile. It 
smells like fresh flowers. Hmm. Okay. I can't get that one down on my own. It's a bottle containing a red liquid. Here's the catalyst. Clouds and spiders webs with catalyst makes invisibility spell. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. It's a big cast iron pot simmering over a slow fire. I guess it needs three ingredients. I don't know what the... It needs to be. You're eventually going to use something to get the fourth, the red. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I need the invisibility cell spell so I can get the parchment. Salt. I didn't even use the salt. Hmm. Do you have white, green, and blue essence? Mm hmm. That's all you need. To store it. Whoops, that didn't seem to mix too well. I'll just, I'll just pour, pour the pour finished, finished potion, potion into one of these vials. vials. Like, like so. so. Fortunately, Fortunately, they're, they're small, small enough to carry in my pocket. Not that I wasn't carrying crow around in my pocket. It says to look at it. Between. It's a vial it's containing a magical, magical essence, essence that, with luck, luck will make me invisible. invisible. Alright, let's try this. Uh 
Look where I came out of. Ooh. That was nice of him. I'm invisible. That's so cool. Solid again. Good timing. I've got to hold on to this stuff. If nothing else, it's perfect for sneaking into clubs back home. pleasures in life. Okay. It's a page that's been torn out of a book. From the intricate schizophrenic... Wait, what? Okay, butterfly. Cloud. Catalyst. Okay, so I think that's yellow, white, blue, I guess? Mm-hmm. What else is there? And I look like... Stop looking at yourself, look at the book! Interesting. What? That's the symbol of the balance, I'm pretty sure. Spiders, oh, webs, and butterfly wings make sense. What is that? A chain around a chaotic symbol? Chaotic, like, like magic? Chain magic? Bind magic! Uh, butterfly cloud blue. Which is yellow. Butterfly. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. It's a vial containing a magical essence that's supposed to take off those few extra pounds in a jiffy. Those few extra pounds mean, of course, everything. Just take a tiny little sip. <laughs> Bitter. I do feel a little less weighty. If I put my mind to it, I could probably jump quite high. Save some of this stuff for the Olympic Games next year. It's a safe bet. I dominate the high jump and pole vault contests. Leaf. Clouds with brimstone makes storm. Storm? I can bring the wind back with this potion. Brimstone with brimstone makes Big Bang. Ooh, like a firecracker. I always wanted a firecracker. Clouds with brimstone.
I'll just pour the finished. Yes, 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 we know. Alright, and the other one was brimstone, brimstone. I don't remember what the last one was. Are you falling asleep? Dude, it's 9.27. I know. It's wrong with me. I don't know. And the world may never know. You should have some shine. That's what I think. I'll just I'll pour just the pour finished potion, potion into one of these vials. vials. True, I haven't had enough soft tacos. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll have soft tacos later. <laughs> like, why are you apologizing for that? You're crazy. Yes. Why not? Probably. Same thing. We're almost at chai, by the way. No! Mm -hmm. It cannot be. I mean that. It cannot be. Huh. <laughs> Spark Cap, we were up late last night. Don't point your finger at me. It was my fault. <laughs> Mike. It's okay. I could have been like, you know what, screw you, I'm going to bed. But I didn't do that. I was like, yeah, I'll stay up too. So we did. Oh, what were you doing productive things? Yeah, we were productive. Oh, yeah, we were. Okay. You're, okay. You're yeah. talking about writing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I remember I'll watching Castle. I'll just the finished potion into one of these vials. Which is But, no, you're right. There's some writing that got done. Yep. Some important writing. And then I'm having car issues, which is irritating me. On three levels, yay! Uh -huh. Alright. I'm gonna say. Uh, wind. Window? What really? if the wind just blows wind it back inside? inside? No. I'll have to find a better way to distribute it. crow! I found a job for you. Hold on to this vial, okay? Oh, sure. Holding on to stuff is a specialty of mine. What for? I'll let you know. I want you to fly out there, Crow, as high as you can and empty the potion into the clouds. But what if there's lightning? I don't like lightning. Lightning has caused better birds than me to crash and burn. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'm the ever faithful crow. Uh oh, I guess it's working. That's done with. There's still quite a bit left in the bottle in case you need it later on. Fizzled. The crystal seems to be in constant fluctuation. Maybe that's preventing the explosive potion from being effective.
Well, how did I land? With grace. a good place to stop and have some chai. Ah! <laughs> Time for Bioshock. 